The, the next talk is by Gen Zhang from Bill Thurkoff's lab. Where are you? Uh, good morning. It's my honor to have this opportunity to present on the stage. Today I'm going to talk about the Trax complex, a general MRP biogenesics complex, and the uh, precursor processing in Drosophila auris. The PV interacting RNA, pan RNA pathway has conserved function in metaron germline in silencing transposon and the maintained genome integrity. Here is a simple diagram showing the pan RNA pathway in Drosophila female germline. <coughs> the discrete genomic loci called pi clusters composed of transposon fragments, which gave rise to precursor transcript and then process into small RNA, pan RNA, which load into PV clade argonaut protein. The euchromatic transposon insertions were given rise transposon transcript, which could be uh, invasive for the host genome. And the prior loaded PV argonaut protein were silenced transposon transcriptionally and post -transcri transcriptionally. There are many questions unanswered in this pa whole pathway, but I'm interested in the prior cluster transcript processing. How the host genome distinguish a prior cluster transcript from a protein coding gene transcript into prior biogenesis pathway? Several labs, including our, provide an initial answer because there is specialized nuclear factor ded dedicated to pi precursor processing. Here is a simple diagram showing this uh, nuclear machineries. Uh, Rhino is HPYA homolog. It localized to the dual strand pi cluster specifically. It brings along the deadlock and cutoff, also allows it to specialize factor required for the pi cluster processing. Besides those specialized factors, our lab also identified the UAP56, which captures the cluster transcript. What's interesting about UAP56 is that UAP56 is the essential uh, protein required for MRI splicing and export. A long mutation in UAP56 is lethal. It is a specialized UAP, it's a special UAP56 allele. UAP56 SC15 disrupt transposon silencing specifically. Here is the data on the left showing the transposon expression profile between the SC mutant and the Y type. The dots above the diagonal line indicating transposon or expression in the SC allele. When we come look at the protein coding genes, they all found the diagonal line between the SC mutant and Y type, indicating similar protein coding gene expression <coughs> between the SC allele and the Y type. So the question is, how is this UAP56 SC allele specifically disrupt transposon silencing. What I did is IP Y type UAP56 and the mutant UAP56 from the Drosophila ovary lysate and look for uh, protein differentiation binding to the Y type protein and mutant protein by mass spec. In the Y type, I, <coughs> in the y -type UAP56 IP, the so complex subunit turns up and it is known that so complex and the UAP56 form this evolutional conserver transcription and export, export complex involving MRI uh, processing and export. And it is a so complex subunit which show fewer peptide counts in this mutant UAP56 IP. And this data is validate, validated by the Western blot with SOC1. And here's the results. In the UAP56 SC50 mutant IP, SO1 single is weaker than the Y type, one, than the SO1 single in the Y type UAP56 IP, and below is a quantification of this Western blot. There is approximately threefold reduction of SO1 binding to the mutant UAP56 compared to the Y type. So I went on to categorize the function of the SO complex in the primary biogenesis pathway. First, I look at localizations. It is reported that Rhino localized to the Drosophila ovary lure cell nuclear as bright foci, co-staining with different subunits or saw complex. They also form bright foci, and those foci co-localize in the lure cell nuclear as indicated by the right arrow here. And this saw complex foci is Rhino dependent. In the Y type, saw complex subunit SOC5, SO1, co-localize with Rhino in the lure cell nuclei, and in the Rhino mutant, SOC5 and SO1 become diffuse localized. So then next, I look at the transposon expressions in the SOC7 mutant. SOC7 is, is another subunit of the SOC complex. So here is the transposon expression profile. Uh, all the dots above the diagonal line indicating transposon or expression in the SOC7 mutant compared to the Y type. 
For the protein coding genes, similarly to the UAP56 SC15 allele, all the protein coding genes fall down the diagonal line, indicating that there is no big difference in terms of protein coding gene expression between the SOX7 mutant and the Y type. I also look at the PRIs um, by small RNA sequencing. Here is the PRI density or PRI clusters between the SOX7 mutant and the Y type. And uh, we can see that all the PRI cluster is generally below the diagonal line, indicating reduced PRI production from PRI clusters in the SOX7 mutant. So we have so complex co-localized with y long in the nuclei, in the lower cell nuclei, and the so complex subunit mutant and disrupt pi biogenesis and overexpress transposon. So it's we I could put so complex into a pi biogenesis pathway, but where should I put this complex? Previously, our lab has reported that the UIP56 associated with cluster transcript preferentially than the protein coding transcript. Here is a genome browser view of the 42 AB PI cluster with the nearby protein coding gene PLD, and the RNSEC reads density from the input, and the UAP56 IP sample is plot along this region. For the protein coding gene PLD, the RNSEC reads density is comparable between the IP and the input, indicating there is no class, um, there is indicating there is no PLD transcript enrichment in the UAP56 IP. While for the 14 AB cluster region, there is a lot more uh, transcript from in the IP sample compared to input indicating that the uh, transcript from the 42AB region is enriched in the UAP56 IP. Similarly, for the SOC5 IP, <coughs> there is no, for the PLD protein coding genes, there is a comparable RSA risk density between the input, uh, input and the IP indicating there is no enrichment on the PLD protein coding gene transcript in the SOC5 IP. And there is, for the 42AB prior cluster region, there is even more cluster transcript enriching the IP sample compared to input. So we have general MRA processing factors. So complex and UAP56 captures cluster transcript more professionally. And other, on the other hand, we have Rhino, which is a specialized factor into dual strand power cluster processing. The next question I ask is whether this cluster transcript enrichment in UAP56 and so complex is Rhino dependent. I repeat same set experiment in the Rhino mutant. For, for the PLD protein coding genes, there is still no uh, enrichment in both UAP56 IP and the SOC5 IP when we compare to the IP to the input. But to my surprise, the 42AB cluster region, the RNA from 42, 42AB power cluster is enriched in the SOC7 SOC, SOC5 IP in Rhino mutant, but not enriched in UAP56 IP in Rhino mutant. Based on this uh, observation, I come up with this simple model that when cluster transcript come out, come out from prior clusters, it is captured by the SOC complex independent from Rhino. In the presence of Rhino and our associated factors, it either promote recruitment of UAP56 or stabilize UAP56 bonding to the cluster transcript. It is a stable bonding of cluster transcript in the SOC, in the SOC complex and UAP56. Mark those RNA as a precursor for prior biogenesis downstream. I also look at the Rhino localization in the SOC7 mutant, which gave me another interesting observation. And here's the results. In the Y type, UAP56 and the Rhino co localize in the lower cell nuclei. In the SOC7 mutant, UAP56 becomes diffusely stained, while there is a residual Rhino foci left over in the lower cell nuclei. However, the morphology of those, fo those foci are different from the Y type. To gain a uh, detailed molecular view of Rhino localization, I did a Rhino chipset in the both Y type and the SOC7 mutant. In, here is a genome browser view of the whole 42AB pi cluster region and the nearby protein coding gene PLD and gene. The Rhino chipset single, chip single which is red here, is clearly enriched in the 42AB region, but not in the nearby protein coding genes. When we look at the Rhino mutant, the Rhino Chip single, chip sex single, which is red, is dropped almost to the background, uh, comparable to the PLD and protein coding, PLD, protein coding gene, and gene. And this indicates that Rhino loose localization in SOC7 mutant. In this case, I can draw a backward arrow indicating that purple um, PRI RNP biogenesis is also required for Rhino localization. So we have specialized factor Rhino 
recognize the dual strand parallel class topical marking. On the other hand, on the other hand, we have a general uh, MRP biogenesis machinery, so, uh, UAP56 and so also required for the processing of pi cluster precursor. And this two group of factors co-dependent on each other for proper pi cluster precursor processing and for the downstream pi biogenesis. That's the end of my talk, and I would like to thank Bill, my PI as a great mentor. I would like to thank my lab members for their help and make it is a small but really nice place to work with. And I also thank the Penguin for the bioinformatics help. Sukri in, in her lab did uh, all the bioinformatics analysis for this project. I would like, I would like to express special thanks for uh, general sharing of religions from Professor Isarodi and Professor Chong. And uh, I would like to take questions. Questions? Thank you.